Dan's annoyed with me. Oh, did you just burp in the podcast? <laughs> Don't you dare that. try and edit that out. <laughs> you did. <laughs> How much beer did you have last night? Uh, no, I don't think it's. I don't think it's. That. I can't believe you just did that. I don't think it, I don't there think are people listening to this on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> there are people listening to this at I home have... whilst doing washing or making breakfast, and you just burped in their ear. <laughs> you are I... disgusting. I actually just thought I'd done that on the sly. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot that I was talking to a microphone. <laughs> Dan's annoyed with me because I'm an hour and forty nine minutes late. It's a bit rude. My, uh, my. It's just called GMT. Have you heard of it? GMT, gay man time. No. Yeah, that's what it means. A gay people notorious. Yeah, you know, it's just that I've got I got to do my hair. You know, I had to choose the right outfit. You know, this is this is this is audio. <laughs> <laughs> so it oh god, let's not. Yeah, but you can't go out the house if you look like a mess. Although you obviously think you can. So, um, <laughs> um, right. So this is exciting. Talia is back tomorrow. So yes, the reason yes. we're doing this podcast is obviously that Dan's girlfriend uh, is my is my friend, and she's left us both. So I'm sort of looking after Dan. He's sort of looking after me. Um, but she's back tomorrow. So what does that mean for the uh, gay and non gay? Well, I'm more excited about future. what that means for you. That's. I mean, are you excited? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you? Yeah. I'm really excited. Are you, when are you seeing her? Uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought that far ahead. You haven't planned something? Well, I think she gets in like 6 a.m. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll be asleep at that point. Why? Well, because I'll be working till like 1. Why? Oh, okay. So you so, could just go straight to the airport from, um, <laughs> yeah, I could. from work, couldn't you, as at if. 1 o'clock? What do you mean, as if? As if. Well, I'd sit around sit at Heathrow for three hours. Yeah, but that's fine. You can get breakfast, well, sit yeah, in no meals. Why aren't you picking her up? I don't know, but I haven't even entertained that idea. The idea of, like, picking someone up is kind of like if you've got a car... But, but, wanna... Are you not so desperate to see her that you're going to travel a few miles just so you can get next to her the first second you can? No, no, not really. Not really. Why? Well, because I'll be, wor- I'll be working. She, doesn't know, she wouldn't do the same. You wouldn't do the same. You were going to meet someone at 6 o'clock in the morning when you've been working till 1. You wouldn't even meet me at 11 o'clock this morning. So yeah, but I'm not in love up. with you. <laughs> if I was in love with you, I would. No, this is, this is, this is work. I you, would. I you... would definitely. I think I would definitely go and see. I would definitely go and pick up my boyfriend or, or girlfriend from, like, from an airport. Not, not if you're working till like, 1 o'clock. In the morning, it's your girlfriend who you've not really seen is. in a month and a half. You should be there. It's like love, actually. If it was you want to, I want you to be there with flowers, crying, that hug that happens. Hugh Grant will be doing the voiceover. Is it Hugh Grant that does the voiceover? <laughs> the voice no, it, it is. Is in it what? Hugh Grant? In yes, what? it is. No, in Love Actually. I hate that film. Oh, I love that film. I That's my that best. Film. That is the best like Christmas film ever. If by that you mean it's the worst, you'd be right. It's so cliche, and it's like Matthew it's McCutcheon's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> she falls in love with him, and oh my god, it's amazing! <laughs> basically, the premise of that film is basically, I love it. it's basically, isn't it great at Christmas time to be in a relationship with someone or whatever? That's the premise. Yeah, of and it. as a single go, person, yeah, I great. love it. So why do you hate it? Well, I've only ever at the time the two relationships I've watched, I've been single, and I've been like, basically, rams home how good it is to be in a relationship at Christmas, and then when you're not and you watch it, you're like. This is, like, really, really, really depressing. Actually, that's a really good point. I hate um, that film. I, I haven't, hate it, and I've seen it twice. I don't hate it. I love it. Like it, like I said, it's my favourite Christmas film. It does make me very emotional, but what you're saying is very true. Uh, I have watched it single, though, and I don't feel like that. Really? No, I... I don't I, think so. You know, actually, this I is really... really upsetting. Right, actually. someone um, someone who I'm not going to name... Right. <laughs> actually, <laughs> the fact that I just said that made it sound like... I don't know, a thing. Anyway, this guy... The um, alleged. No, I just... Uh, okay, so basically, I was out with Doc Kwan. Right. Um, <laughs> that's why I wasn't going to say the name, because I didn't want to do a drop. But anyway, I, he's, like, we just met, and anyway, he just basically said to me, why are you single? Right. And I was like... Well, why not? Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't met anyone, but it was awful. So I was... And then he was like, stop it, you're speaking in commas. You're speaking in commas. Because I was going... Uh, I I, what does that mean? Like I, that's what I said, but he was like, because you're going. Uh, I think oh, like not for like you know actually thinking about it. So my right. answer was, well, I think because I haven't met anyone. I, actually, what I said was, but I said I said it like really spread out. I said, oh, I haven't met anyone that's good enough that hung around long enough. <laughs> that's what I said, which is an awful reply. <laughs> anyway, like, but that's, I, that's, that's actually a good, nice way of putting it. I just think it's so rude to say, why are you single? It was awful. It was like in the middle of a conversation about loads of other random things and then suddenly he just goes, bang, why are you single? I'm like, oh, just stab me with a knife. 
That is rude. In a, in a way, I think it's like a compliment because it's saying, you're really cool, why are you single? It's rude for a couple of reasons, but one, one of those reasons is the assumption is that everybody wants to not be single. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, uh, do you know what? It's like um, how at dinner you're meant to be with someone else. It's like the whole yeah. world is geared around couples, basically. Yeah. And yeah, he's, he's, ass- he's assuming that everyone should be in a relationship. Why is it? Why is it that that kind of question is okay to sort of ask someone? But if you ask someone, for example, how much they earn, that's like a massive no-no and that's really like intrusive and all the rest of it. But it's perfectly fine apparently to say to someone oh, why are you single or why are you when are you getting married or are you going to have kids those kind of questions for some reason it's absolutely fine to yeah, ask you're right whereas you know I mean? yeah yeah no you're right why is that like a social no no why it, is that a taboo when um when saying oh how much money do you earn isn't also the people that ask that question are only are only after one answer so when you for example i don't like children so i've got no interest in having them and that's, <laughs> that, that's just well a, you've just completely ruined our audience, haven't you? you goodbye, you, goodbye, you, mums. You goodbye, half the world. You, know, the, <laughs> you don't like children. You're a child. I don't think this is a You're child. You're a grown-up child. People, so people go, oh, when are you going to have kids? Or whatever, which, firstly, I, I spend like a good 30 seconds getting over how rude that is as a comment. But then I say, oh, I don't actually like children. I don't want them. And people are like, what? And they talk to you like... You're a moron and that you don't know your own mind and that it, you're sort of lectured and patronised and told uh, by people, oh, when you meet someone, like, oh, it'll change. And you think, well, that's just not true. And how the hell do you know? <laughs> Like, yeah. How the hell do you know? That's so and true. Why are you yeah. telling me that? No, I completely agree you know with you. I mean? You're watching the right stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're back straight after the break yeah. <laughs> with Joe McEldry yeah. on his thoughts. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering, like, because you and Tally have been together a long time. Yeah. Uh, why haven't you moved in together? Well, that's an, that's another like question that's a bit rude no, to but ask someone, isn't it? It's not rude because I'm you're it's only rude to you because you're making the assumption that it has meaning behind it. Literally just me. I'm just saying, "Oh, why why don't you live with Talia? Have you thought, have you thought about that?" That's just a question because I care about I care about you both. Oh my god, I care about you. <laughs> what? Um, so I want to know, like, yeah, I'm just interested. But that isn't me going. What's wrong with your relationship? Is your relationship dysfunctional? But I think you're thinking. I think that, which is what is the problem. Yeah, possibly. But mo- most people, it's fair to say, have got that sort of logic behind asking that question, haven't they? You probably don't. I don't think Gokwan said, "Why are you single? You dysfunctional mess." <laughs> I don't think that's why he, he asked me. <laughs> but I suppose I feel like that inside, which is why I find yeah. that rude. Yeah. So yeah. why do you feel as though <laughs> your relationship is... Why do you feel like you should live with her? I, I don't know. Because if you genuinely like... didn't think it mattered, then the question wouldn't be rude, would it? Have we really? Have we just discovered the cornerstone of this problem? Is it that of actually what? we're taking that information and making it horrible? Um, we're the ones that are taking it personally because actually it's not anyone attacking. No, I, I, think it's, I think it is fair to say that most people are saying these kind of questions with, with an idea in their head of how people are supposed to do things and how people are supposed to live, which is quite, in a way, is quite old-fashioned. And when a lot of people decide to do these things and then they don't understand why other people might not want to do those things. Yes. If that makes sense. Um, so you, you say you say to me, why don't you live with her? But you could equally say to me, oh, why haven't you watched Spectre yet? Or why do you live in North London? But you or wouldn't why- take offence to that because you you wouldn't think I was making a personal attack on your choices. Whereas when I say, why haven't you live? Why are you not living with your girlfriend? That's that to you is interpreted as a personal attack, isn't it? So when someone says to me, why are you single? I feel like, I'm like, uh, uh, oh, what's wrong with me? Whereas actually I should just be like, I don't know. I don't know, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, well, I guess that's what you said, though. In, in, it's not what you said in your head, but out loud you must have sort of said something. No, like I that. said something much worse. I, I said, what? no one wants me. <laughs> 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 oh, God, how awful. <laughs> what an attractive thing to say. Um, so why are you single then? I don't know. <laughs> Ever since I've sort of been aware of you, you've, kind of been single oh you? my god that's a horrible thing to say no, ever since I've been no, 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 aware no, no, this, of you no, this is the thing this is the problem though you're, you're, you're interpreting it as oh my god how what an awful state of affairs but why don't you interpret it as what a fantastic state of affairs I've been single for, for this amount of long I've got my own life I've got my own do you know what I mean uh, why are you jumping to the conclusion because everyone says you should be with someone and that's what you're meant to do isn't it 
God, yeah. I feel like I'm in therapy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how much am I paying for this? <laughs> yeah. Fraser Grain. Um, um, oh my God, no, that's really. Hang on a second. Why am I single? Okay. I mean, I can't answer that. That's actually really funny. I don't know because I probably haven't allowed myself to. Have you ever? Sorry, this is now. Yeah. Now in the in the in the deep. Questions. Go on. Have you ever had like a long term? Yeah. Boyfriend. Yeah, I've had two long term boyfriends. How long term? Uh, well, I mean, a long term over a year. Like, is that long term? Yeah, that's long term. Sure. Okay. So like a couple. Well, of, yeah, maybe. like probably a year and a half on both. Okay. All right. Interesting. Why is that interesting? Well, I mean, I haven't been studying you sort of... I mean, since I became aware of you. Ridiculously, but I've, in my head, you're just like, you're like a single man. I, mean, I don't really want to be thought of as a single man. I, th- I guess it's because I guess it's because my life is very, like... I, I just work a lot, don't I? I'm always out doing things. I'm yeah, so yeah, busy. Yeah. I suppose it doesn't, doesn't allow that to happen. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is awful. It's not, it's, not, it's not awful. This is awful. Why is we're awful? in the comedy section and we're talking about yeah, this crap. No, I'm not sure why we're in the comedy section to start. <laughs> yeah, we no, didn't do that, no. by the way. We didn't put ourselves there. We should have been in, like, health yeah. and vitality. Yeah. Is that a section? Uh, yeah, I think it was worth We certainly shouldn't be in the children's section. No. <laughs> I no. hate children. No. Dan over there. Um, we need to make a decision as to whether or not, I mean... I don't know. Are we doing this? Are we going to do this again? Is this the last? Is this the last ever podcast? I, I don't know because it was it was originally kind of supposed to be a, a short term series, but we, we've been we've had some success. We we were number one hundred and sixty three on the. Uh, no, we were number 83, actually, at one point on the comedy, pop comedy podcast. For about two seconds? Yeah. I never saw that. Um, I think by the time I caught it, it was 263. Uh, yeah, so let's make a decision. Are we, are we going to carry on? It's kind of fun, isn't it? Let's, What's this space? Let's find out. Then. Oh, I meant to ask you something. Um, how are the chickens? <laughs> uh, Did you get any? I haven't got any yet. Why no. not? Because I've been busy. But, like, they, they're coming. The chickens are... The, the, chi- <laughs> the chickens are coming. The chickens will be coming okay. home. Okay. <laughs> will be coming home to roost. When? Um, oh, should I get some turkeys instead? No. This, oh, this is so... You've darkened the pot. 